studio and I recently made a major purchase and um, definitely wanted to share it with you here um, and it was quite expensive it was about three dollars and 89 cents and here it is that's right Eric Johnson, Jazz Three Picks, right? Custom Nylon, Dunlop, Eric Johnson, Jazz Three Picks. And of course, the guitar picks, little red one here. And these are the Eric Johnson signature models <laughs> of guitar picks. Um, I really like these picks. Uh, they uh, they really uh, kind of force you to make good contact with the string, you know. Because they're so small, but also um, they're pretty thick, right? So they're not real soft at all. Very good for alternative picking. You know, kind of down, up, down, up, down, up. And I've gone through quite a few different picks. Um, everything from real thin picks, which are pretty good for strumming kind of things. Um, two real thick picks like this, which are, to me are good for kind of that... Uh, ago I used a very similar pick but it was called the cradle pick and I really liked those picks um, the reason is they were kind of like the jazz three picks they were kind of hard and they had a little edge to them so that they'd never slip out of your hand um, unfortunately they kind of never really got off the ground enough and um, they kind of disappeared, unfortunately. Um, 
So I tried a few other picks. Uh, for a while I was using these kind of a medium gray nylon picks. And they were much softer. Um, but I found that these little Jazz 3 picks work really well, um, especially uh, soloing wise. You know, because it kind of forces you to to pick, uh, you know, and rather than kind of slide the pick over the string, kind of pluck at it. Um, yeah, these are, you get six for $3.89. So they're not terribly expensive. You know. And how they differ from um, regular Jazz 3 picks. I mean, these are the Eric Johnson, you know, guitars from Texas. I really like that guitar. It's like, I like his playing style, definitely. Um, and I guess these are his signature picks, so these must be similar to picks that he uses, I guess. Not sure exactly. But these are 1.38 millimeter, right? Um, nylon picks. Oh, I'm sorry, custom nylon jazz three picks. Now, I'm sure we've all been to concerts at one point or another, and they have a mic stand and it's loaded with picks, right? And the guitarist plays a little bit, takes a pick, throws it out into the audience, or that kind of thing. Or I've even seen where the picks, you know, are stuck to the guitar with tape, and you've got like six picks, or what have you. And the reason is, if you drop one, right, especially in a concert, you can't pick it up very easily. And in fact, um, because I have so very few of these, I've actually become very uh, much more careful about picks. Because uh, a lot of times when I play, you know, when I'm done playing, I set it down somewhere. And then I lose it. I can't find it. So I become much more careful. And this brings up another part of the video. And this is show and tell. Now to find a solution to losing these picks, I made it a habit that when I'm done playing with it, you know, I either put it in the string of the guitar, kind of like this, right, see that, there's a little Eric Johnson Jazz 3 pick, but it's stuck in the strings there, because I found that setting them down, you know, miscellaneously, you know, on a desk, or who knows, on the edge of an amp, or whatever, in my studio room is I tend to lose them, obviously. Um, and I can't find them. As I mentioned, I have very few of them. You know, I mean, this is a major purchase here. It's a gold mine. You know, I think there's $3.89, including shipping via Amazon. And there's six in a package. So I'm always on the lookout for pick holders, right? And you say, well, I mean, I suppose I could just keep them in the little baggie. That'd be one possibility. So, one possibility is this. And this is just a little ceramic bowl, I guess, a little... Thing. And so, you know, obviously you take a pick and set it in there. Very nice. Right? But I'm always on the lookout for something a little a little better than that. You know, maybe a little more fun, a little more creative. So then I ran across this. Here you go. Now that's a pick holder. See, look at that. It's a uh, 
Well, I don't know. It's a monkey. Right? Right here. And he's holding a little bowl. Do you see that? It's very odd. I mean, I don't know why anybody would collect something like this. It's a little bizarre, really. Um, but anyway, so you set the pick in the bowl, and it's ready to go. And it's quite heavy, so it's not going anywhere. And it's just perfect. You take one finger, and here, I'll show you. You take one fi finger, right? There's a proper technique to this. I mean, you can't just, you know, grab the pick any old way. You take one finger and, well, okay, it slides out of the bowl, not very easily. Okay, okay, maybe thumb and finger. Let's try that. Okay. Anyway, it's better if you have more than one so that they come off easier. But anyway, so this is pretty nice. All right, now that's a pick holder. Now I find, um, well, this is useful. All right, this is a lot more fun. You know, uh, very inspiring to be sure. Okay, now sometimes when you're in, a, in, in an angelic mode, creatively playing, and you've got to reach for a guitar pick, right? I'm going to show you. Here's another pick holder. Well, okay, maybe originally it wasn't a pick holder, but uh, here you go. Now here you can't lose, right? Now you see right here, perfect place to hold some picks, right? So I'll take a pick. It has a really heavy base, you know, so it's not going to get knocked over, that kind of thing. Right? Oh. Right? Almost praying hands, you know? And so there, there's the guitar pick, see? And so you can take the guitar pick and get it that way. So these are some of my pick holders collection. <laughs> right? I know, it's pretty sappy. But it actually, it does inspire you to play. I like it much better than looking around, you know, all over trying to find a darn pick. So here, you know, and so I can put this in my studio room, maybe, and the, the, the monkey in my living room. Right here, this guy. I like that one a lot. Kind of goofy, but okay. And maybe use this one for the different kinds of picks I have. You know, over the years, I, you know, I have a bunch of different kinds of picks. But ones that I actually use, um, you know, I started off, yeah, uh, with these gray nylon picks, and they were pretty standard, you know, Dunlop nylon picks, and then I went to the cradle pick, but they became so hard to find, um, you know, unfortunately, and they just never took off. Um, and in fact, uh, with my very first album in 1999, uh, Modern Rock Guitar Volume 1, Abducted by Aliens, um, if you bought the CD um, on about a thousand of those, um, included was a free cradle guitar pick. That's right. Um, and, I, and I would play those cradle picks, you know. Um, so, really, the Jazz 3 is very similar, except it doesn't have the, the little edges on each side, which would be nice. Um, and 
I'll tell you, when, when I'm playing in my living room or what have you, you know, or playing even on my couch, if I drop that pick, you know, I've got to look around for it and those kinds of things. So, um, you've got to be very careful, you know, and find the right pick holders where you're not going to lose them and they're easily accessible. So there's three different kind of pick holders. Um, in particular, I like this one a lot because it's quite obvious, easy to find, you know, much more than a pick. And it's pretty solid. It's not going anywhere. So I usually use this in my studio room. And, and this one usually in my uh, living room, the monkey. Right. And there's the guitar pick. Thank you, monkey. Okay. So anyway, there you go. Um, I highly recommend these uh, Eric Johnson Jazz Three Picks. Um, and I've tried some other uh, picks, including just a normal Jazz Three. There, I think there is a slight difference. You know, you probably have to consult, like, Eric Johnson, you know, and see what he says here. Based on a Jazz 3 pick from Eric Johnson's collection. So, I mean, this was based on a pick that Eric Johnson had. And it played, I assume. This pick features a smoother more refined tip, lighter weight, greater flexibility, and a matte finish with raised logos for an incredible gripping surface. Okay, so there is a difference. And in fact, you know, when they say that it's the, um, the greater flexibility, right? I think that is very true because uh, I remember trying a Jazz 3 pick, and in fact, uh, something similar to a Jazz 3 pick. It was green, it was very hard. I mean, no give at all, no flexibility at all. It was, you know, a different kind of picking experience, you know. Um, so I've gone attached to these, you know. Um, now, you know, if you go online, you can actually buy generic picks and have your name engraved in it or whatever, you know. Okay. Uh, on here. But, and I'm not sure. I don't think these have Eric Johnson's name engraved in them at all. Um, I don't know. Maybe they do. Let's find out. Okay, here we go. Unboxing video. Well, package opening video. Here we go. There's the package. Let's Open it. Let's find out if Eric Johnson's name is on it. Here we go. Boy, it's hard to see. Jim Dunlop, USA. Wow! Certainly it does. And it says Eric Johnson TX. In other words, for Texas. Now, hopefully, he won't move somewhere else. And then they'd have to redo the pick because he's no longer in Texas. You know, I guess he's been a long-time resident of Austin, Texas. You know, and I don't know if that you know, is a big deal or whatever, but you know, I find that very interesting that they put... TX after the Eric Johnson, you know. I mean, let's say he moves next door, right? In Bloomington, Indiana, where I'm located, 
Then they got to change the pick and it'd say, Air Johnson! B I N. Okay, anyway. But um, they're actually very good picks. And uh, it actually improved my uh, hand position and picking as well. You know, uh, definitely made a big difference. Uh, and because they're so small, again, it forces you to, you know, to uh, make solid contact with the string. You know. So let's put these in the, here. Okay, monkey, you get you get three picks. One, no, you you get two. All right, three. So there we go. Now we got a little bowl of Eric Johnson picks in here. And angelic hands, you get three picks too. One, two, three. There we go. Now they've got. A, see, you can see. There they are. No. Right. The praying hands with the picks. Now, unfortunately, this little bowl only has one. And and the problem with this kind of little ceramic bowl pick holder is you then you start finding other stuff in it. You know, and I'll show you, give you an example. Here's a battery in this little bowl, right? It's very nice to put little things in it. Um, but this battery doesn't belong, right, in the pick holder. Anyway, so, so here, I've actually got a package of Eric Johnson picks I haven't even opened. And hopefully I won't have to open them for a long time and use the ones that I have. So this one I'm going to put in here kind of a storage receptacle, you know. Okay. And the battery. Well, I don't know where to put the battery. You know, that's the problem with these little, uh, playing guitar in general, you end up with all these little knick-knack type things, like this battery. Um, here's a knob. Goes to something. I don't know what, but... Oh, okay, anyway, so there you go. Um, we took a look at the Eric Johnson uh, Jazz 3 picks, and I highly, highly recommend them, you know. So if you ever ask me, well, what kind of picks do you use? I'd say Eric Johnson Jazz 3 picks, of course. All right, so... Little monkey, angelic hands, and the little storage container, pick holders. All right. Uh, say goodbye and uh, see you next time.